I uh, did something crazy. So I like sauces um, from like fast food places. If I go to a fast food place and it's got a great sauce, I want to save it. So, um, you know, I like to eat it later um, with some other food. And so my wife got me a uh, she went on Amazon and she got this little like shelf a uh, little drawer like a kind of a tiny little like shop drawer so that you could like stick stuff in it for sauces but um, wasn't really paying attention to the uh, to the dimensions for it so when it came we were kind of laughing because it was this tiny little box and I'll show you and it was this little box here and it looks like it's a good size for sauces but the, it's got nine drawers, but the drawers are so small you can hold like maybe maybe two sauces in each drawer. So you know it really wasn't feasible. So this little box sat on my desk for like a year, and I started cleaning off uh, my desk, and it, this has been sitting on my desk empty for this all all this time. And I was like, you know what? I have my Magic the Gathering dice just like chilling, like in a box, and it'd be cool if I use this instead. So. That's exactly what I did with this thing, and it is awesome. So, just to show you, you got these little drawers, and you can see that it doesn't hold much. Um, it holds one of these uh, life counters in it, and then, you know, five D20s. And these are the small ones, too. These are the small ones that came in, um, that come in, like, the little pre-release sets and stuff. Oh, see, like, this doesn't even want to close. Okay, there we go. Uh, I know I have so this oops so yeah the drawers can come out oh it looks like this one's already broken that's crazy it's never been used how is it broken <laughs> uh, let's see where are they um, I do have some I think this is one. Oh yeah this one's stuck in there but I can yeah if I take this out I can pull it out easier but there's one of these drawers has like, I think it was that one up there that was stuck, has like the, oh, here we go. This has like the bigger ones that you get in the bundles now, like the bundles come with these, these dice now instead of um, the smaller ones. But I threw in a whole bunch of like D6s in the final one, the, the, the final drawer. And then I have like an actual D&D &D dice set here with like all the different types and it's like some weird cyberpunky one that I got at Barnes and Noble. They were having like a um, a clearance sale. I used to love their clearance stuff. They used to have like a bunch of RPG and things that uh, they had. So yeah, this is um, fantastic. I don't know what this is. I'll have to look look it up. I don't have any like affiliate links or anything like that. But um, I'll try to find out what this was. Uh, and if you're interested in uh, Kind of put them in the comments or something um, so that you can get one. It's pretty fun. It looks really cool on the shelf. You know, like you're you're sitting there looking at it and it's got this. And um, what's pretty cool is like I have this old World of Warcraft. I used to play the card game a long time ago when it came out. And um, was it like the mid 2000s? I guess um, early 2000s. And then they came out with a dice set for WoW, and it came in this like treasure box. And then you could <laughs> open the treasure box and it had these dice. Now these didn't come, these aren't part of it, like the, the blue and gold ones that I have. But these were the ones that came in it and um, pretty fun. They're just, they're just D6s, so I just stuck a bunch of D6s like in it. Um, it only came with so many dice, but uh, I used to buy those cubes because these are perfect to like put on your characters as counters and stuff. And, and I played a lot of card games, so... It was cool to just throw them in there. So that is another cool little thing. And I, I set this on top of um, I set this on top of my dice set. So it looks kind of neat. Um, what else? I don't really have much. I'm just kind of testing. I got this new play mat um, last week, or actually earlier this week. So it was like a couple days ago. I think Wednesday, and this is Friday. So yeah, two days ago last week. Jeez. Time's going by quick for me, I guess. Um, so I got this uh, play mat. I really love the Kamigawa set. And this is a cool commander, um, Kotori, the uh, pilot prodigy. Or prodigy, I think it's pilot prodigy. And um, I just thought it's cool because she's like sitting on a mech. It's just like so anime, you know. 
I mean, look at the scarf. It's even like fading into like digitalness or whatever. <laughs> and it's just, it's just a cool, cool looking mat. And, um, I really liked it. So I had to get it. Uh, magic's been doing, um, some pretty cool art lately. Um, like I showed before in one of my videos, I got this binder, um, when I went to Tennessee, um, earlier this, this year, um, it was a, uh, um, card store that was, you know, we're looking for a, a, a place in Tennessee and there was a card shop that was pretty near, pretty close to where it was. And I wanted to give it a go and check it out. And they had this, I thought it was really cool. It's like all graffiti looking and there's like wanted posters or whatever, it, what it looks like. And, um, I think this whole, um, I think this whole binder itself, it's just a small four, it's just a small four pocket binder. And I, I think that this thing was, um, I want to say it was like 14 bucks. It was very cheap and I, I couldn't pass it up simply because I love little binders. Number one, cause you could put a lot of cool little things in it, but also it looked cool. So had to get it. It's weird because it's matte, right? But there's some parts on it that are like all the planeswalker symbols are glossy on this thing and I don't and it's like that like on all sides and the X the X of course is is glossy as well um, pretty cool though it's pretty neat I like it because it's small and I put all my fun cards in there I put um, I got like the Jen Bartel secret layer and um, put those cards in here as well. And these are like cards I'm just not using at the moment. It doesn't mean that like I will never use them. It's just, I don't have anything, um, with, you know, anything to use any decks right now that I'm building. But, um, some of them, I do have a fun idea of what I want to do. And, um, yeah, I think, I think I'd have a lot of fun with these. These are banned. <laughs> You can't play Fate Fable of the Mirror Breaker anymore. That's I don't know what they're allowed in. I don't know what formats. I just know that they're banned in like standard, which they're still standard legal, but they're banned in standard. I think they're I think they're banned I, I think pretty much commander is the only thing you can use them in. I think commander allows like everything. Um Yeah, I don't uh I got some tribal cards, you know, and I'm not gonna call it typal because it's so stupid and, w and why is tribal offensive you know i'm uh from the san carlos apache tribe you know i'm native american i, I know I don't, I don't speak for everyone you know that's a really slippery slope because you know kind of like the thing with redskins right the redskins was you know they were like well you know this guy is native american and he doesn't find offense to it but i felt I find it offensive, but just because I do doesn't mean that everybody else should and vice versa. So I don't speak for everybody. I only speak for myself. So personally, I am part of the party that they're worried about offending. So since I am not offended, is that okay that I still use tribal? I don't know. Like, am I going to catch flack for it? Not sure, but it's tribal. It's been tribal since the dawn of time, <laughs> which was 1993. <laughs> God, that's that's hilarious um but yeah it's it's been there it's been tribal all this time so i'm just gonna keep calling it tribal but anyway what i was babbling about was there's some really cool tribal cards in here like uh you know icon of ancestry and vanquisher's banner are pretty fun fun to play with and i did have these in a mirror deck like all of these cards that we're seeing here were in a mirror deck and and elish norn mixed with panharmicon was Man, that was fun. Like everything that comes into play happens like four times. <laughs> um so um yeah, Urtet, uh Remnant of Memnarch was pretty fun. And then the Cybertron um command towers came in the the Transformers um decks. Or not decks, but the secret layer cards. Pretty fun. And then, you know, the rest of them aren't, like, here are all the Transformer cards that came out of those. And they're fun. And I think they're really neat. Um, but then, you know, I have just, like, a ton of random, like, cards in in this uh, binder. Just a bunch of fun stuff. Like, I think this guy, 
Xanthar, Xanathar uh, Guild Kingpin could be annoying to play as like a, a, a commander. And I'm not trying to be like annoying, so I don't know if I'll actually p put that together or not. But it could be funny. Let's see what else do we have. We got like the Infinity Gauntlet over here, the Fist of Suns. It's pretty funny. Of course, this like, when did this come out? This come out like before, I think, yeah, it came out like before Avengers, so this was like a thing. But of course, the Affinity Gauntlet was a thing way back in the 90s. Anyway, um, yeah, oh, I finally like drew a Basaju, which was fun. I have been like trying to get that and like the Wandering Emperor for the longest time. I still don't have the Wandering Emperor, but. Um, and it, I ended up getting one of these. It's crazy. Like, there's a a, a, a card called um, Hotshot Mechanic, which is an uncommon in Kamigawa, right? And I only I've bought I've purchased so many Kamigawa packs. Like, I have a I think I've purchased almost two boxes worth of set boosters. Definitely a box um, on its own, and then like half a box one day and then like randomly going to the store to buy several others uh several other uh, packs every now and then just to open and i have pulled two fables of the mirror breaker including uh, including one that's like an alternate art and i've only pulled one hot shot pilot or hot shot mechanic that's it only one so i had to order some of them off of tcg and uh yeah and i last cards i had were just like lands and and you know, lands aren't really all that um, exciting. Um, but a lot of these lands I'm going to use. I just didn't want to, like, have them laying around. And I figured I had some space in this thing, so why not stick them in here? In fact, like, some of these cards I could have used in the deck that I just created, like Seachrome Coast. Um, I've got, like, three of those. They're not expensive cards, but they're they're cool to have, like, in your opening hand for sure. Um, yeah, so... I turned this like random little like test into an actual video and I think it's pretty fun. I like it. I'm excited to play some magic with it. Um, I'm sure um, I am really just testing this out to see what it looks like and, and obviously what it sounds like because I've got a new rig attached to it. Um, mic and there's a light too. And like I said, my my office is completely dark. It's I turn the lights off. The, the windows are got the blinds down and everything because it gets like 118 degrees outside here in the summer in phoenix so i'm not trying to be cooking in my office so everything's closed everything's turned off so i got this uh new rig with a light and it actually it i just am excited to see what this video is like and i am going to upload it no editing no nothing just going to upload it just to just for the hell of it so thumbs up um if you like the video and i hope that you guys keep tuning in. I'm going to try to get more content. Um, <laughs> there it is again, content. I want to have more videos up for you guys, especially since I got this rig. I want to make some good use of it. So, um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate you guys for sure. You know, those of you that have subscribed to me, I love you guys, man. I appreciate it so much. And I'm really looking forward to putting out some more videos um, for you to watch and hopefully you enjoy. Uh, I'm going to try to play some more games and stuff this week and upload some of that. Maybe some Street Fighter 6. I've got maybe, I've only got like one video up. Uh, I haven't really been playing much of it either. It's more of a social game for me um, with my friends on Discord. So we will see what is up with that. And so until then, I appreciate you all and I hope you have an awesome weekend because today's Friday. Yeah, today is Friday and... Um, I think it's payday today. <laughs> I, I think it is. So, um, if that is the case, then yay, today's going to be a really fun day, you know, paying all kinds of bills, you know, that's always fun. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, thanks a lot. And I am looking forward to making some more videos for you guys. So have an awesome weekend and do something fun. Eat something good. Be good to yourselves. Bye-bye.